If you want to travel back in time, come to the American West because it's a limitless story of literally tens of thousands of square miles of tens of thousands of thickness of the literal record of Earth history. Montana is dinosaur country. It's a happy hunting ground for paleontologists. In order to find a dinosaur, you have to find a place where now the right age rock that they died in is exposed at the surface of the ground. So we're seeing chunks of rock that used to be sand and are actually the remains of ancient streams that buried dinosaurs about 150 million years ago. So while they look like rocks, they're actually pieces of an ancient landscape. And people often look at these blocks and go, oh, there's nothing there. I find that turning the blocks over, sometimes you find dinosaur bones sticking out of them. Technology has improved dinosaur research, but the technique for finding fossils can still be pretty basic. At the end of the day, when I'm out on the outcrop, I'm usually walking along with a pickaxe and a hammer and a pocket knife. Those are my tools. You know, the feeling I get finding a fossil is always that of excitement. I'm always excited when I find something. And how do scientists know when they have found a fossil? The bone wants to hold on to your tongue. Okay. So just go. put your tongue on the bone. See? Oh, it's it stuck. Sticks. It, it sticks. sticks. Now try your tongue on the rock as a, as a negative test. It doesn't stick it doesn't on the rock. Stick. That's incredible. So you can tell dinosaur bone from rock by putting your tongue on it. What's happening is the, the actual. Literally, when you drive through Montana, the road cuts and the outcrops, you're seeing cross sections of ancient landscapes. Same everywhere else in the world, but here, there's not so much vegetation. You can see these layered rocks wherever you go. It's a fossil paradise. 